practice with Dibbit um, with her first litter. The first time I saw her with cubs, um, I think was August of, of one year. And um, Dibbit was a bear that I had seen fishing at Brooks Falls in July um, throughout her, basically almost her whole life up, up until that point. And then that year that, that she had first had spring cubs, she decided, you know what, I'm going to skip this whole thing. <laughs> and she didn't come back till that to that August. So sometimes, yeah, they will they will do that. Um, again, it's it's all about risk versus re- reward, and each mother bear weighs that on um, in a, in a different way. And finally, last question here: Will the koi, uh, the cub of the year, lay low, uh, be quiet, or cry out? Uh, from my experience, most of the time, um, they if they're separated from mom, they'll cry. Uh, so they'll be bawling, you know, up in a tree or on the ground. Um, so usually they're not quiet, especially in those like, you know, 10, 20, first 10, 20, 30 minutes, um, of, of, of separation. Eventually, you know, they kind of get exhausted with that and they'll come out of a tree and they'll just sort of, um, you know, go, you know, searching or wandering on their, their own. Um, but yeah, for the, those first, you know, you know, 10 or 20 minutes or so, they're definitely been crying out a lot. So it looks like I've been talking about an hour, answering uh, a lot of questions about what we saw earlier today. I hope you found this helpful and informative. Just to recap.